But this one, it don't take it all. It don't take everything from you. It don't drain you like a toxic relationship. It just take a little bit. It take a little bit what it needs and then it leaves. That's it. So this is not like one of them crazy toxic relationships type of shampoos. <laughs> So as you guys can tell by the title's video, I'll be doing a wash day using the Mish Beauty products. And I've been waiting to get my hands on these products for so long. I've seen so many YouTubers review their products, um, talk about how amazing they are, the smell, the moisture. I was like, I need these products. So they were at the Ubiquitous Women's Expo in Washington, D.C. They had a booth. So I pretty much picked up all of their products in their line. I got their shampoo. I got their protein deep conditioner, I got their moisturizing deep conditioner, I got their leave-in, and I have their hydrating twisting butter. I will not be using the hydrating twisting butter or the uh, moisturizing deep conditioner in this video. So in this video, we'll be using the shampoo, um, the protein deep conditioner, and this is gonna be my first time using this, so this will be like a first reaction um, for this product, and I'll be using the lavish leave-in conditioner. For the shampoo, I tried to shampoo in the shower, you guys. Let me know if you like that or if you're just like, eh, yeah, the lighting. I'm trying to get the light. I don't have a ring light, which I need because I notice when I point the camera toward my shower, there's no really lights over there, so it looks a little dark and a little dim. But I'm trying, you guys. I'm working on it. But I did try to apply the shampoo in the shower to show you guys how I apply it, how it lathers up with one lather because I only normally put the shampoo in my hair and just do one lather. I don't really do lather, rinse, repeat unless I have like a lot, a lot of gel or a lot of product buildup on my hair. So that's for this product. And you'll hear in the demo, but I really do like this product. It has an amazing smell and it's nice and creamy. So I definitely like this um, shampoo, but I'll talk more about it in the demo portion. Um, this was my first time using the Strengthening Deep Conditioner and I definitely love this product. And like you guys will hear in the demo, I think I like this a little bit more than the moisturizing, but shh. Shh, don't tell no one because I know it is like taboo to love protein more than moisture But for this I definitely think I like the protein deep conditioner a little bit more than the moisturizing deep conditioner And then as you guys will hear me speak about the leave-in conditioner. I'm still on the fence with this I'm still on the fence because when I was applying it in the video. I was like, okay. I like it. I like it a lot um, After my hair dried, I'm kind of also like mm, I, I still don't know I don't know if I'm feeling this for a leave-in conditioner or I just like it more as a moisturizer. I tried in this video to use just a little bit, not too much, rub it in my hand, kind of activate the product. But when my hair dried, I just still didn't like how it felt dry. Like, I like how it applies when my hair's a little damp, but when it dries, I'm just like, eh, I don't really know. So I'm still on the fence about this product, but the smell is amazing, and I'm still gonna try to give it a few more tries because one, I bought it, and two, I just want to like it. You know when you just want to like a product so bad that you keep trying it in different ways? So that's what I'm going to do. So enough rambling. Let's just hop into the video. So this shampoo is an 8 ounce bottle of shampoo and like I said before the smell is definitely powerful so if you are somebody who doesn't like smells you may not like this shampoo. It is more on the creamier side so I felt like it was easy to distribute through my hair like not thick thick but not runny like some shampoos. It definitely lathers really well on the first time so you, I feel like with this shampoo you don't need to lather rinse repeat but if you are somebody who likes a shampoo twice you'll definitely get your hair squeaky clean with this shampoo one time is definitely enough for me and it's not um that drying as well so i definitely like this shampoo you're still able to maneuver your hair some shampoos tangle your hair up this one definitely did not tangle my hair up i wouldn't say it was easy to detangle with this shampoo but you can definitely still maneuver your hair around with the shampoo inside and your ends aren't tangled around so this is how my hair looks after shampooing as you can see i definitely get a good lather with this shampoo hi guys so i'm back and i finished rinsing out all of the shampoo from my hair and like i said before i really like that shampoo it doesn't tangle up my hair now i'm not able to fully like detangle my hair but i'm able to still section my hair with the shampoo in so that is a great thing because sometimes you know when you put a shampoo in your hair you you can't do nothing if it's not pre-section once you put that shampoo in you cannot section your hair because your ends start tangling up and stuff like that but that shampoo it's like it's a very thick creamy shampoo so that's great but yeah, I've already used that shampoo a few times. Love it every time. The smell is amazing. Sometimes it does get a little bit overpowering. Um, when you're in the shower, it's hot. You know, my 
bathroom is not well ventilated so the smell can get a tad bit overpowering but I like it so this is how my hair looks let me take this section down to show you guys how my naked hair looks like I said before in one of my videos I love to keep my hair in twists throughout my whole wash day so this is how my hair looks it's nice it feels soft but the scalp still feels clean Yes, it still feels clean and the hair feels soft. So I definitely feel like if you don't like a stripping shampoo, now I'm okay with a stripping shampoo because sometimes we use heavy gels in our hair and we just need that, you know, full on take everything off, like take everything I got, just take it's all from me type of shampoo but this one it don't take it all it'll take everything from you it don't drain you like a toxic relationship it just take a little bit it take a little bit what it needs and then it leaves that's it so this is not like one of them crazy toxic relationships type of shampoos so this is how my hair looks feels soft and still feels very manageable so what we're going to need is my oh here we go is my brush that I got off of Amazon it's a faux Felicia Leatherwood brush. I still need to get one of those. And we're going to be using the Strengthening Protein Deep Conditioner. Now, I was reading this because I'm like, mm, don't nobody like protein overload. Nobody likes that. But this says it's a protein moisture balancing deep conditioner. So I'm assuming it, it still got some moisturizing this in it and some protein in it. So I don't feel that bad using this. Now, you guys know like the Afogee, that's a full blown protein treatment that's that stuff you gotta be careful with mm. it smells good as well definitely smells good so we are just going to put this in my hair and I'll probably do a voiceover so that I can read you guys all the specs and everything else about this deep conditioner while I'm applying it to my hair so now on to the protein deep conditioner called strengthen you get 12 ounces which is a lot more than the nine ounces you get in the indulge moisturizing deep conditioner and i'm so happy that she gave more in this deep conditioner because i actually like this deep conditioner a lot better like i said in the intro um to me it still applies the same as the moisturizing deep conditioner just make sure that your hair is kind of wet not damp a little bit more close to soaking wet but it doesn't have to be dripping for me it just applies a lot better when you add a little bit more water to your hair if you are just coming out the shower but if you're in the shower then you can easily just apply it straight to your hair because it'll be soaking wet um there is a smell to this product as well i think all her products have a fragrance added to it and it all the products smell like candy to me like it smells like you just want to eat some candy so if you do have a sweet tooth this may trigger you for wanting to get some sweets um i just feel like this is an overall great deep conditioner and I will definitely be using it in my regimen maybe every other week. The protein is not that high up. So this is one of those protein deep conditioners you can use um, every wash day and you won't have protein overload. I definitely feel like my hair looks, you know, really good with this deep conditioner. My twists are looking, you know, nice and juicy, which I like. So I'm going to finish applying the rest of this deep conditioner to the rest of my head. It's just the same things. I don't feel like you guys want to see me apply deep conditioner to my whole head. And then I'm going to sit under the hooded dryer for 15 minutes. I don't want to go overboard with it. I might probably leave it off for about 20. Who knows? But 50, between 15 and 20 minutes, I'll sit under the hooded dryer. So I'll see you guys once I'm finished, you know, rinsing out the deep conditioner. Hi guys, so I finished washing out the protein deep conditioner from my hair and I can say that I think I may actually like this one better than the moisturizing one. Don't hold me on that though, but I'm pretty sure I like this one a little bit better. Had my hair feeling really good, so I'm definitely liking this deep conditioner and it rinsed out easily because you know sometimes you have a deep conditioner it's so hard to rinse out, it's like... I don't have time for that. So like I said before, I'm going to use the Lavish Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I'm going to try it again. I've tried it one time, didn't like it. Then I liked it as a moisturizer better. So we're going to try it again as a leave-in. And then I'm going to use this Aunt Jackie's Balance um, Grapeseed Avocado Oil. I won it at the Ubiquitous um, Women's Expo. They were giving them out for free. Well, actually they weren't giving them for free. I played a little game and I won this. 
And if you guys don't know, I love avocado, avocado oil, avocado anything. But my first favorite oil before avocado was grapeseed oil. So I was like, oh my God, like I need this. And I was so happy I won it. So yay, we're gonna kind of do that old school leave in and then seal with an oil. I haven't done that in a long time, but it used to work. So I wanna try that method again. So I'm just gonna apply it to these two sections on camera and then apply it the rest off camera. So let's get to applying it. My way of applying it this time, I might've applied too much last time. So I'm gonna start with less and then add, like build up. Like I'm gonna do a little bit, I'm gonna try to like activate it in my hand, kinda how I did with a deep conditioner, and apply it to my hair. So I'm hoping that works, and then I'm gonna twist it back up after I apply the oil. I'm gonna apply it to this whole section right here. And my hair feels so soft. Like I really liked that deep conditioner. So I'm just gonna use a comb, make sure there's no tangles in my hair. Oh my God, no. Even as my hair is drying, it feels so soft. I'm hoping this leave-in conditioner does not mess that up. You know, you feel hair feels amazing after you do it a deep condition and then you put the leave-in in and it messes it all up and you're like, excuse me? But okay. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. That's about it, just a little bit. And then kind of warm it up in my hand. That you can see it definitely spreads out and then spread that on my hair. And you can see it like definitely my hair soaks it up because it's not really leaving a coated layer on my hair, which is good. That means my hair definitely likes it. But you always can put something on, then you wait a little bit and it feels dry afterwards. So now I'm just gonna comb it out. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of oil because this is really thick. If you guys don't know, grapeseed oil is kind of a thicker oil. Avocado is a little bit lighter and it does have a little bit of coconut oil, which is also thick. I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit and just put like a few drops. That's it. Just a little bit, if you can see, not too much because I don't wanna coat my hair too much. And just coat it. That might not even have done anything. I might need a little bit more. I don't think that did anything. Let me put a little bit more on my hand. There we go. There we go, now I feel it. It's a little, it is definitely a heavy oil. I can see why people might wanna use this oil as a pre-poo, because it is definitely heavy. So I'm gonna make sure to put on my ends to seal the ends. Comb it out. Still feels really soft. And the leave-in conditioner definitely has an amazing smell. I feel like all the Miche Beauty products have great smells. But after you put the Aunt Jackie, or after I put the Aunt Jackie's um, oil blend, I smell that more. So the oil blend kind of overpowers the Miche Beauty leave-in. This is how my twist looks. Really good. So healthy, so I'm excited. Got a little bit of shine to it, but it definitely looks good. So I'm gonna apply it to the rest of my hair. Let me apply it to this section on camera as well. Cause you know, you apply to one section, it's all right. You gotta apply it to these two sections to make sure it's good. And my hair is, I wouldn't say it's soaking wet, but it's a little bit past damp. So it's in between damp and soaking wet. I'm just gonna comb my hair. As you can see, my hair is just, oh, yeah, that deep conditioner is a truth. I would say if you wanna get one of the deep conditioners from their um, line, I would definitely say get um, the protein deep conditioner. I do like it just a little bit more than the moisturizing deep conditioner. So I'm gonna use about that much. That might've been a little bit too much. Rub it in my hand, kind of activate the product. I don't know if this is really doing anything or it's just all in my head, but it makes you feel better. And sometimes you gotta do stuff that just makes you feel better. To this section. On a run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. So overall, I really do like 
this line. I pretty much like all the products in the line and I will definitely be using them, switching them in and out with some of my staple products as well. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys have tried any of the Mish Beauty products, which one is your favorite product. If you like the leave-in conditioner as a leave-in or a moisturizer better, let me know where you sit, especially on this product. And also let me know how you guys think about the butter because I haven't used it yet and I definitely want to know if you guys have any tips or tricks on the butter. Is it like a heavy butter? Is it? Just let me know in the comment section below. So I'll talk to you guys in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!